so we finally made it to the Central Market and it is so different from the Central Market in Cambodia like our Central Market is nice too but this is very different so we're gonna go around if I see something I don't have anything in particular that I want to buy but if I see something that's like calling my name I'm gonna get it holiday also that we're here most of the places have closed already so we should have come earlier in the day or earlier in the week but it's still nice it's a very very well put together clean market I think I'm consistently impressed by the cleanliness of it um, and how cool it is you know I think I'm, I guess I used to Cambodia it's nice definitely worth the trip you can get like all of your last minute um, any of your last minute Brain fart. That's when it gifts and trinkets. I know there's a word for that, but yeah, you can get them from the souvenirs. <laughs> there you go. From here. Yeah. Don't mind my hair, it's crazy, it's been a crazy day. We finally got some food that I think is gonna be good, so let's see. Let <laughs> me just say this. I don't I don't have words to express how amazing that food was. We're both sitting here just like kind of in awe, like in a stupor because the food was that good. I like almost cried. Okay. Hi guys, everyone. Nice to meeting you guys. And she's my friend. She's from Cambodia. Yeah. She's from Surya. She's so All kind. She bring the friend, come to our restaurant, try our food. It's yes. too good. She is like very excited, you know. So please, yes. I request, come to Chongka KL Bukit Bintang. Okay, please, yes. you will have the home cook. The chef, all Malay. Even our boss is Chinese, but the food is all Malay traditional. Mm. You can feel so good like yeah. home cooking. <laughs> My name is Sandy Noor. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Make sure you come and see Sandy here. The food Definitely. is... Definitely. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs>
so it's our last day and we still have activities that we wanted to do and we didn't feel like carrying around our luggage everywhere because we checked out at 11 a.m. So I looked online and there are storage places for your luggage all over the city and the one closest to us it was at the Lucy in the Sky Cafe. It's 20 ringgit to leave your bags here and you can book it online and just walk in and then they take care of your luggage and you can go about your day and then pick it up at 5 p.m. So I think this is a really good tip to have, especially when you're working on limited time and you need to go back to the airport and you don't wanna carry your stuff all over the place. So good, good stuff. <laughs> The colors of everything is just popping like crazy today. The itch is beautiful. seeing different signs that are like entrance signs but we're still only at like the middle at the very bottom because the whole way it's set up like a V so I think we if we would have started and gone over to our left instead of to the right then we would have started at the entrance but it's fine it's beautiful I highly recommend coming to this place I think it's a hundred percent worth it literally in the city center so it's really nice I think it's a must come if you're in Kuala Lumpur. It's so beautiful. <laughs> This one I found on Instagram. I'm not sure completely how to say it, but I think it's so amazing. They have really good, really, really good coffee. And they have Cheesecake Factory. And they said it was flown in from America. So, and it tastes literally like Cheesecake Factory that I know and love. So this is like a great icing on the top of the cake because our flight got delayed, so we had to figure out something else to do. So. We're here in the cafe, we're gonna spend a little time and then maybe figure out one more thing to do before we fly out tonight. Uh, 
Um, can I just say that I'm like super beyond overly happy because they had my foundation color and my concealer colors in Sephora in Asia. I knew, I, I was hoping that they would because I felt like, you know, Malaysia has Indian people and people with a little bit deeper skin tone. So I was hoping that I could find it and I found it. So like, I'm done. Malaysia owes me nothing. We're gonna go get some food and then we're on our way to the airport.